hi guys so welcome back to my channel it's your girl Gigi. in today's video i will be making a thong bikini with clear straps the idea to make this bathing suit came to me while i was shopping the other day and i thought to myself i have this fabric why not make it why not record it okay so let's jump right into it the first thing i did was to trace an old bathe and suit pattern that I already have. Um, I only use the front pattern for this tutorial. So it means that the front of the bottoms is going to be at, is going to be the same as the back. And so to get that, that thong element, I took about two and a half inches from the side seam of the front. And so what you see me doing right now is trying to make my lines more straight. I'm using a nail file because I'm lazy and I don't want to look for my ruler instead. But you guys can use a ruler. You should use a ruler. So I cut it out into the shape that you guys see. And it honestly doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, so that pattern is going to be the front and the back. So around this point, I decided that I wanted to make my bathing suit reversible because I couldn't decide which color I wanted. And this is where the shit storm starts. Mind you, this is my first time ever trying to make a reversible bathing suit, but I figured it shouldn't be that hard, you know? It's just a bathing suit. So I folded the fabric in half and I cut two pieces of the pattern one for the front one for the back of the green fabric and i will repeat the same steps for the pink fabric as well Like the bottoms, I already had an existing pattern for the top and so I cut out two of the green and two of the pink. Okay, so this is what all your pieces should look like. The first step is to stitch the bottom seams of the green panties and the bottoms seams of the pink panties together so green to green pink to pink so this step is very crucial and it's where i messed up i shouldn't have done this step next what i should have done was attach the elastic to the right side of the fabric of the green panties to connect the front bottoms to the back bottoms on both the right and the left side and if you don't fully understand what i'm talking about you'll see it later because i go back and try to fix it but i should have done that first before i sewed the elastic around um, the bottoms but instead with the right sides facing each other i attached a piece of elastic to the edge of the green and pink fabric to just sew it all together connect it all together and i did that um all around the bathing suit all around the bottoms Gabriel Dominic Money Beats. For the top, I made the same mistakes. I should have attached the elastic first, but instead I did the same thing where I connected the bottom of the pink and green tops together and I sewed that. And then I sewed elastic around, I attached elastic and sewed it around the edges of the top. I'm sorry guys, bear with me. I'm a little under the weather and that's why my voice sounds like this. I just, I'm really dedicated and I just want to get this video out to you guys. I've been getting a lot of great feedback and I really, really appreciate it. 
appreciate the support and so i just want to go hard 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 for you guys and you know release more videos that can help you improve your sewing or help improve your life in one way or another So this is the point it hit me that I made a mistake. In order to attach the elastic straps easily and properly, you need a big opening that will allow you to easily turn the fabric inside and out. But I didn't do that until I had to go back and pretty much unstitch the bottom of um, um, the top and the bottom seams of the bottoms. So, you know, I had to unstitch everything in order to easily attach the elastic. It took me a while, I'm not going to lie, and I wish I would have done that in the first place because then this would have been so easy. The struggle was real in trying to attach the elastic because the elastic, first of all, is very, very flimsy. And so, um, if I do this again, I will definitely find more durable elastic but also just unstitching and trying to feed the elastic through just blew my mind <laughs> messed up so many times trying to get this right it took me so long but in the end i ended up uh connecting the two tops in the front and i just attached the elastic to go across the back and across my neck um i did that just to add my own flavor to this i don't want to copy everything style for style you know like i don't want to be that person so i tried and i tried and i tried i tried so hard but like i eventually got it to work in the end and it turned out very very nice like i will wear this on vacation like out of the country or like in miami like i really really love it and the colors go really really well with my skin tone and i'm just very happy i made it i'd really urge all of you to try it i know this might not be everyone's style but you can try a variation of this it doesn't have to be a thong i would really 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 like to see it This is the final product guys as you can see i'm feeling myself i like this especially because i can mix and match it i can wear it either on the pink side on the green side or just green bottoms green green bottoms pink top pink top green bottoms and yeah it doesn't feel like it's it's played out um excuse the mess in my room i'm in the middle of just redesigning the whole layout in my room but i really 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 like this what do you guys think do you think this is an easy tutorial to follow let me know in the comment box in the comments down below why did i say box pray for me y'all <laughs> um 
yeah let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i always have new shit coming out and don't forget to like this video if you do and share it with your friends and your mom and everyone thank you guys bye Take it easy on the track, nigga.